After starting at Northwestern University in the fall of 2013, amateur sensation Matthew Fitzpatrick quickly decided he wanted out to focus on his golf. It was a bold decision, but Matthew has a strong belief in his game, and with good reason given his 2013 season. In what would be a year of phenomenal highs for the young Englishman, he first came to prominence at the Open Championship in July, when he finished low amateur for the week at Muirfield. It was just amazing. Every, everything that, that went with it, um, the hospitality, meeting, walking alongside the players, and just everything that I dreamed of. They played well the first day. Uh, got off to a great start in two under after eight and I couldn't believe it myself. It certainly hit home when I, we were in the score cabin before the presentation and there's an extension there and, and Phil Nicholson winning the silver medal uh, and just playing with so many big names and they were so great to me. It was the best week of my life, I think, by miles. Matt's made rapid progress through the amateur ranks since his victory at the 2012 Boys Amateur Championship. A 10 and 8 triumph in the 36 hole final that year offered a glimpse of his talent. That was definitely important. That opened a few doors to me. It just gives you, again, experience of doing things at, at the next level, really. It just gives you a little bit of a glimpse of what it can be like. I've played in the boys' amateur three times, and every time the event was so fantastically well run, and it benefits players all round. Just playing the course, some of the courses that we play for for the big events, uh, new courses, tough tests, and got to play got to play good golf. Last year, Matt took his Muirfield form across the Atlantic, becoming the first Englishman to win the US Amateur in more than a century. He won with his brother on the bag and his family watching from the sidelines. I just couldn't believe it. I was in, just incredibly happy. Uh, my driving that week was the best it's ever been, uh, even better than it was at Muirfield, actually. And round there, that's incredibly important because the rough was just so, so penal. I have no expectations at all. I mean, it's my first ever one, but once it gets to match play, anything can happen, and uh, it was nice that it went my way. With the accolades and titles starting to rack up, Matt's elevation through the amateur world golf rankings was inevitable. He finished the year in top spot, and at the end of 2013 was presented with the prestigious Mark McCormack medal. My target at the start of the year was just to maintain top 50. All of a sudden, qualified for the Open, had a good result there, good result at the English Amateur, and gained points fast and, and shot, up the, shot up the rankings quickly and managed to just just sneak world number one in time for the, uh, the Mark McCormack medal, which was incredibly nice. Although he's left college, Matt isn't about to turn pro. Still only 19, he'd like to stay amateur to compete in the 2015 Walker Cup. And his attitude has impressed RNA ambassador, Podrick Harrington. He's following a progression. He's moving through the ranks, playing junior golf, junior amateur golf, winning the, the boys' amateur championship. So he, he's been good at each level. He's moving his way through it, uh, beating, beating his contemporaries. And he's a good role model for other amateurs to follow. A ringing endorsement from a two-time Open champion, and next up for Matt, courtesy of his US amateur win, is a trip to Augusta and the Masters.